Alrighty, so there is quite the rumor circulating on the interwebs right now. Um, yes, I just said interwebs, but there's quite the rumor going around on the interwebs right now um, about Six Flags. And not just Six Flags, Six Flags and SeaWorld Entertainment. So I'm pretty sure everyone in the coaster community at this point knows what this rumor is about. There's a rumor going around that Six Flags is in talks to purchase possibly SeaWorld Entertainment. This comes as a shock to me, especially because SeaWorld Entertainment is doing pretty decent at this point. Um, decent may even be an understatement for how well they are coming back from that Blackfish documentary fiasco. So um, I do find this interesting. I find the timing interesting, um, but it is not out of the ordinary. So the rumor does have no merit. I will say that. So based off of where it's come from, I had never really um, heard of that source or that um, that Facebook page before. Um, so I can't sit here and say, OK, yeah, these people have definitely in the past been right about something. You can comment down below if they have um, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I, I don't see any reason to fully believe them. Um, I am very happy with the fact that they used the words in talks and there was no kind of like guarantee. So that's always nice to see in the coaster community whenever someone doesn't go, yeah, this is happening. Um, but again, Six Legs is a company that is also doing really well. They're purchasing property. They're, you know, taking out liens and and uh, renting out property across the world or around the world in terms of uh, boosting their income to please stockholders. And it seems to be working. Six Flags is showing history of not doing too hot in the stock markets because they're under delivering in terms of buying property and not meeting what their uh, expectations are for investors after purchasing those properties. But they're not doing terrible. They are on the rise in the last couple of week in the last bit of the week as well. So that's always interesting. SeaWorld is also a company in the last year. So you can see both of these are last year. So as you can see, SeaWorld is in the green, so they're going up. Six Flags is in the red because they've had steady decline. Um, and uh, this is interesting because this, to me, just screams, um, and not just this alone, but I just don't see SeaWorld being bought by Six Flags. I really don't. Um, there's multiple reasons. One, SeaWorld, for the little amount of parks they own, makes pretty much the same amount of income and revenue as Six Flags does with all those properties across the world. Now, that's interesting because it just says that, you know, SeaWorld is a company with a very large bro portfolio in terms of revenue, parks, and overall experience. And this is where it comes in that I really just can't see Six Flags owning SeaWorld Entertainment. It's just not the same. Can you imagine? And this is of no insult to Six Flags. Six Flags is a very great chain. It's just not meant to run parks like SeaWorld Entertainment. I just can't see it. Can you imagine walking in the aquariums and you know this would happen? The amount of advertisements that would be around, like as you're watching like Free Willy uh, <laughs> or the Orca Aquarium and it's like presented by Tackies, Snickers advertisements, Coca-Cola advertisements, M&M advertisements. I just feel I feel like they would even name the whales after like products any like, you know, how they name trains. And so, again, I, I'm getting a little hand here with the um, my predictions that if Six Flags were to run SeaWorld, I just don't see it. So I want to hear from you guys down below. Comment down below. Do you really think Six Flags um, could be the purchaser of SeaWorld Entertainment? Because I, I just don't see it. Um, I know a lot of other people in the coaster community really don't see it. I think this is why this news blew up um, with not really any merit behind it is a lot of people were kind of like, really? Like, it, it's shocking. It's um, it's kind of weird. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of like disgusting in a way, even though Six Flags isn't a bad company. It's just it's almost like, you know, see your fair buying Universal Studios like it just isn't the same. Cedar Fair doesn't know how to run a company like Universal Studios or Disney World. You know what I mean? It, it, so it's the same thing just to put down. So I'm putting down both the chains. There's nothing wrong with Six Flags. I just don't see them being able to run a park or a chain like SeaWorld Entertainment. 
Um, I feel like they would greatly ruin it. So definitely comment down below what you guys think. Do you think this would be a good move if Six Legs were to purchase SeaWorld Entertainment? Do you think it would be a bad news like I do? Comment down below what you think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, somewhat, I guess, comedy of a video. It's not really comedy, but in my opinion, it's just a weird video to make. But I wanted to get my opinion out there. I really just don't see Six Legs being the main purchaser of uh, SeaWorld Entertainment. I don't think they could really afford it. Um, at the moment, and I also don't think that it would be good for those parks if it were to happen. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. We have more videos coming out today, actually. We have some construction tours at some other parks, um, or construction shots and videos. So hopefully you guys really enjoy that. Stay tuned. Have a good one, guys. Bye.